for this question says, what is the pH of a solution that has 61 milliliters of 0 0.61 molar sodium bicarbonate and 87.4 milliliters of 0 0.33 molar sodium hydroxide? So uh, always important to classify the substances that you have when thinking about what's going to happen next. So for this particular one, we've got uh, so sodium carbonate and sodium hydroxide. Those are both ionic compounds. We've said a couple times now, but we'll say it again, that sodium ions are inert. Uh, they can be considered inert acids, but as long as you know that they're inert, anything in that group one or group two is going to be inert in this sense. So really we have bicarbonate or hydrogen carbonate ion, and we have hydroxide. Now, hydrogen carbonate or bicarbonate can be an acid, so it has a Ka value. It is negatively charged, and therefore it can be a base as well, so it has a Kb value as well. And we've worked problems before where you had to determine whether it was an acid or a base, this time, its environment determines it for us because we have hydroxide. And hydroxide is a strong base, which means that the bicarbonate ion will be an acid now. So it won't be a base. If it's in water, it could be an acid or a base, depending upon which Ka or Kb value is greater. But when it's with uh, a so a hydroxide, a strong base, it's going to be an acid. Just like uh, one of the other problems, I believe, has bicarbonate ion and HCl, which is a strong acid. In that case, it will be a uh, bicarbonate will be a base. But here it's an acid. And anytime you have an acid, whether it's strong or weak, this is a weak acid and a strong base, the reaction will go to completion and we need to set up a mole ice table. And our reaction will have the reaction between bicarbonate and hydroxide. This is going to go to completion, so I'll just put the single arrow. And then we've got, uh, oops, so acid to base, we're making water and carbonate ion. That's important because we may have a buffer here, and if we have a buffer, then we're going to need to know which buffer system we have. We know that our weak acid will be our bicarbonate ion. Now what you can do here is you can fill in your moles of acid, uh, your moles of base, we know that water does not show up in equilibrium constant expression, and it's, it's the solvent. So we'll just put an X there. We don't need to worry about our moles there. And then we start with that's actually a zero, um, whereas you're going to calculate the values in the other bubbles over here based on the amount of starting material. And in this one, you're going to have one of two cases. In one case, you run out of hydroxide, so hydroxide will be the limiting reactant. In that case, you're going to subtract off all of the moles of hydroxide, uh, and that's what this case is, by the way. Uh, you're going to subtract off whatever moles of hydroxide there are. And you're going to be left with some moles of your bicarbonate ion. You're going to get moles of your carbonate ion, and you're going to say weak acid, conjugate weak base. That's a buffer. How do we solve all buffer problems? Using the henderson haskell bouch equation. And then you're going to need the Ka value for the bicarbonate ion to plug into that equation. And that's your tutorial video on how to solve this problem.